Well, and the fact is that uh, I'll, I'll elaborate on what Tom said with regards to uh, stores today. Do you remember when we used to have an it, 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 before mass merchandising? We used to have educated clerks. You could go into, and we have a few hardware stores uh, in Dallas. Uh, I can't think of the name of them right now, but they actually are the old school. That if you go in there, you can find a six-bit penny nail that puts in this, or you can find a light switch for an antique, and they're known for that. And uh, you know that's how I grew up. Maybe a lot of us grew up. But due to mass merchandising today, it's all about numbers. It's all about cost. It's all about taking the cost down. And, smaller margins, higher volume, et cetera. We've seen it happen in grocery stores today. You know, we used to uh, have a clerk that would look at the product, put it into a cash register, have to count, change, bag it, and everything. Today, that clerk now, all they do is scan it, don't they? They don't even have to know numbers. And then we went one step further when you think about it. Now we're doing it ourselves, aren't we? Now we're doing the bagging, we're doing the scanning, we're putting our own money in, we've gotten rid of the court. So why should anybody become, you know, uh, educated about the process, about their products? And that's one reason you won't find us in the store shelves. And, and, and to add what Tom said about the biggest in the business, the biggest retailers in the industry, I'm not even going to mention names, have been in our offices and literally said, you will sell us that product. And when you've got a man of the caliber of our chairman, and he looks straight in the eye and says, no, we won't, you know you've got a true leader and who's committed to what we're doing here. And that has happened. Now, another unique thing is, uh, is why we call it IV7. Believe it or not, the company went through, before I got there, they went through over 800 product names, trying to find the right name. And it's IV7 uses ionized silver to kill germs. Silver is number 47 on the periodic table of elements. And 4 is the Roman, and the IV is the Roman numeral. The EPA ranks germ killers in four categories, four category, four category four. So all of this came together. You know, after you go through 800 names and the creativity we have in, in the uh, corporate office, and after several months, uh, it all came together to call it IV7 and to show you the, uh, oh, let's see. Okay, that slide's not in there. Okay. Uh, but anyway, that's how we came around to IV7. And proven and patented. Well, uh, the thing, you know, the silver's been around for thousands of years and it's very, very good. And uh, oil and silver, we're not talking about oil and silver here that has silver oxides and it's erratic and it can uh, uh, win uh, as far as the amount of it and all. But um, and this is this goes way past nanotechnology. You know, recently I thought, well nanotechnology, that's really something. Well, we're a Pico technology now. That's okay. Pico, Pico, yeah, it's Pico. And if you compare that, I, the way I can guess, um, there's so little silver in this product, it's unbelievable. That's when you're comparing that to nanotechnology, that's like comparing the size of the Earth to the size of the Sun. So you can see it's stable, uh, it's ionized, and it is just totally disruptive breakthrough technology, and that's what makes it so special. We have, we have the patented worldwide rights to hear those, and we've got the distribution rights through Richmond Home. And the other thing is, and, and Tom knows some of these also, that uh, I mentioned to you earlier that uh, we have to develop product, test it, validate what we say about, uh, or Pure does. When I say we, I'm talking about Pure on the scientific end. They have to validate what they say about the product and what it does. But also it goes out to EPA approved labs, which are two of the most respected, Nelson Labs and ATS, uh, ATS Labs. After that, then it also goes on to the EPA, and after that, we are approved in each individual state. And the neat thing about this is we have tremendous alliances in this company, starting from literally day one. You'll notice that everything we say is not what we're going to do, 